Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. An escaped inmate is back in custody after fleeing last week, while another is still on the run. 24-year-old Brian E. Olson of Sandy Hook was returned to the Big Sandy Regional Detention Center Tuesday. Olson was in jail for a parole violation. Now he is charged with second-degree escape. Olson and 30-year-old Jeremy R. Boggs, also of Sandy Hook, were signed out of custody Thursday morning by Johnson County Jailer Doug Saylor. The two were last seen around 3 o'clock that day. They were part of a four-man crew collecting litter on Route 201 near Sitka when they escaped. We opened up an investigation for escape. Through the investigation, they'd been gone probably 45 minutes before we were even contacted, so they could have been anywhere. Olson was found and apprehended on Ison Road in Elliott County near Sandy Hook. Boggs was allegedly with Olson but evaded capture after allegedly jumping over a cliff. He was last seen running into the woods. He was not armed at the time of the escape, but Sheriff Dwayne Price says to use caution. You never know with an inmate what's going through his mind, especially the time and age we live in. He could very well be now. So what we would encourage the public to do if they see this individual, don't, don't approach him, just call us. Boggs was in jail for a parole violation as well as traffic offenses. If anyone has any information on the whereabouts of Jeremy Boggs, contact the Johnson County Sheriff's Office or local law enforcement. In Paintsville, Shelby Porter, EKB News.